first of all thanks for having me here and uh, about alpha data we are uh, uh, one of the largest system integrated in this region uh, we have been here for more than four decades we do have a, a workforce of more than 1600 uh, resources all placed within ue uh, we are part of the great bin hamuda group and we have recently closed our financial year with uh, uh, you know, the annual revenue gross over 1.6 billion plus, which puts in, uh, if not the largest one, uh, we are among uh, top two system integrators who are totally based in this region. Uh, we've been able to uh, achieve these numbers only because the trust that customers have shown uh, in us uh, for last four decades that we have been serving to us, to them. We started, uh, you know, uh, back in 80s, we started selling to the customers. So if you will see the journey, we have evolved to now we are talking about the cutting edge technologies like Metaverse, we are talking about cloud, we are talking about AI and ML. So the our, our uh, business strategy or you can say the policies that we uh, work upon is working backwards towards the customer requirement. We have kept on evolving ourselves as uh, per the customer needs. When the customer required servers or hardware or any switches, we uh, used to provide them the solutions towards uh, 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 catering towards uh, those requirements. Now, since the customer is asking about uh, uh, cutting edge technology, as I mentioned, like cybersecurity, uh, like metaverse, AI, cloud, we are evolving ourselves as per the customer pace of the uh, market. It's been uh, quite a journey for cloud, if I'll talk about. Uh, it was uh, steady initially. Uh, customers uh, within UAE and uh, the complete Gulf, uh, they are embracing this journey steadily. They were embracing this journey steadily, if I'll say. Uh, but, you know, this COVID-19 pandemic has accelerated it with uh, some, some pace. Uh, because, you know, uh, there was a reason behind it and customers needed to have their complete infrastructure set up for their remote workers during pandemic right and uh, all of them started to go to remote working and it is uh, uh, we can we can see that effect now as well that uh, uh, customers are adopting hybrid uh, kind of model where people can either work from office or work from uh, remotely anywhere so completing this journey i mean to have all the infrastructure set up it was really very difficult for the customers to keep on continuing on their traditional infrastructure which was on-premise. So customers started to accelerate their journey to, uh, towards cloud uh, after COVID pandemic or during COVID pandemic I will say because it gives them the flexibility, agility and the time to market. If we'll talk about the predictions, almost 70% of the customers in this region ha are today using somehow cloud i mean they are already using cloud in one way or, or another and uh, you know as per the prediction of idc uh, by 2024 we are going to see uh, you know around uh, 4.5 billion dollar worth of uh, uh, cloud consumption which is going to come as per idc right customers are using it customers are adopting it as i said earlier that they are looking for agility they are looking for uh, you know, uh, they just want, they just don't, they just want to focus on their business. They don't want to focus on what is underneath it, how uh, their uh, application is going to work. They just want to focus on their application and to go to market. This is only possible if they have an agile infrastructure in their uh, environment. When I talk about agile, uh, it can uh, this this kind of flexibility or this kind of uh, uh, you know agility cannot be provided by uh, traditional infrastructure, right? So that's where cloud comes into picture. And as per the uh, acceptance of cloud uh, coming coming forward in this region, I can see uh, it's it's uh, going to rapidly increase in uh, uh, coming year with. Uh, uh, you know, multiple cloud uh, providers are already there in this region now. So we can see this journey is going to be uh, quite accelerating. So customer can leverage AWS cloud by utilizing the wide array of services that AWS provide when it compared when it is compared to their near about uh, competitors. Uh, they have wide array of uh, uh, you know uh, public cloud uh, services that is available within their portfolio 
customers can also leverage their global footprint and the experience that AWS brings on the, on the table. If we talk about uh, AWS in this region, it is comparatively new uh, since the data center had just been launched within uh, UAE. Earlier it was in Bahrain, but uh, for UAE uh, specifically, if I talk about the, the data center had just launched and any of the customers' requirements on you know getting uh, data residency challenge and all those things are uh, mitigated now. So the customers can uh, start leveraging public cloud from this region itself without any sort of data going outside uh, the region. The second major uh, thing that AWS uh, customer can adopt by using uh, AWS is, you know, they have global footprint, as I said, and they are one of the most experienced cloud service provider worldwide. They were the first one who were, uh, uh, who started, uh, you know, providing uh, public cloud services, to be honest. So any customers within this region or anywhere in the globe can leverage that uh, uh, use cases that they have already delivered across verticals in uh, multiple geographies and multiple places. So AWS has some leadership principles. For one of them is customer obsession. So why I want to talk about is they want backwards from customer requirement. They try to understand what customer need is. They will not just go and sell anything which is irrelevant. They will uh, understand what customer's pain point is and then leveraging their uh, use cases which has been delivered across globe they will uh, try to pitch in and they, they will try to solve those problems to the customer as i said that uh, they have wide range of uh, service portfolio uh, when it when it comes to uh, you know uh, if 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 i have to just pick and choose a couple of them. I will talk about some of the services like serverless or application services which are uh, very you know, uh, unique and which is, uh, they have huge experience on that one. I mean, uh, AWS has a very good experience on uh, uh, these application services and serverless. Uh, the second thing which is, uh, you know, uh, transforming or uh, the traditional infrastructure. So when I say traditional infrastructure, and if I go back to the days where mainframe was uh, one of the ten things, so you know, transforming that mainframe onto cloud, how to use it on the cloud. If I would have uh, talked about this thing way earlier, I mean uh, five or six years earlier, that uh, we want to migrate our uh, mainframe uh, infrastructure to cloud, uh, people would have laughed about it. But uh, AWS, one of the first one, uh, they have came up with, uh, with some solutions. So if I have to pick and choose how customer can leverage AWS or how customer can use it, uh, they can utilize uh, uh, the uh, wide range of services which is there. And uh, we, as in Alpha Data, has a separate business unit for AWS. Any customers who are there in this region, they can definitely reach out to us. And uh, we have a huge team who do provide services and support across AWS services. Reddington as a distributor, we are uh, engaged with them for so many years and they have definitely added a lot of values in our business. They have been giving us the ways that market is moving in. They have been helping us with uh, tapping on the new markets. As I said earlier that uh, we are expanding our reach within uh, I mean, Qatar and uh, Saudi as well. They have been helping us. They have been crucial in uh, helping us to reach onto those markets. They have been giving us the, as I said, the market insight. They have been giving us, they have been giving us new technology trends and uh, you know, last but not the least, which is their uh, basic business. They've been, uh, you know, pioneer in, uh, and they've been helping us uh, for years to, you know, uh, manage the logistics of delivery to our end customers. Uh, at times, you know, they have been so supportive that they have, uh, uh, I mean, made some delivery possible outside the work hour, uh, which has been critical for some of the customers. So, yes, the value, and the partnership with uh, Reddington has uh, really added a uh, on, on our business.